What is up guys? Welcome back to Niche Vapes. Today we're going to be doing a quick review and unboxing of the Zeus X RTA by Kickvape. Inside the box, you get the Zeus itself with the bubble glass pre-installed, an extra straight glass, an 810 Alton drip tip, a bunch of O-rings, replacement flathead screws, 510 drip tip adapter, tri-tool, hex wrench, and 2.4 ohms nichrome fuse clapton coils, two shoelace feathered cotton, instruction manual, and an envelope. Inside the envelope, you will get a bunch of cards, your warning card, purchase information card, and also a card showing the Zeus X with a picture of a Lucid kit behind it. The colors available for the Zeus X are stainless steel, the black, blue, rainbow, red black, and gunmetal. My favorite color is still the gunmetal as it pairs up very nicely with my mod. The Zeus X is a dual 25 to 27 milliliter tank that holds 4.5 milliliter of juice when using the bubble glass. And while using the standard glass, it will hold 3.5 ml of juice. The top cap is a treadless top cap which makes it easy to take it off with just a quarter of a turn. It has a top to side airflow design, basically air comes in from the top, goes in between the main chamber and the inner chamber which then goes out to the sides of the coil. The airflow ring has a big slots on both sides which can be adjusted to your desire which will stop turning when it's fully open and when it is fully closed. It is a top fuel tank with a kidney slot design which has a small well surrounding it in case you miss the top fuel hole since it is on the smaller side and a standard sized chubby gorilla juice bottle tip will not fit all the way into the fuel slots. On the bottom, we will see the Zeus design by Geekvape Edge and also the gold plated non-adjustable 510 pin. Overall, the RTA is well built and the machining done on it by Geekvape is always immaculate. Before we have a look at the deck and install the coils, I always recommend cleaning the whole RTA to remove any excess machine oil during the manufacturing process. Like with most Geekvape products, almost all parts of the RTA can be taken off. The drip tip, the top cap, the airflow ring, and to get to the glass, you have to remove the deck from the bottom just by unscrewing it. The inner airflow chamber can also be removed and the only thing that cannot be separated are the top fuel chimney and the main chamber as it is a single piece. Now let's have a closer look at the deck. It is a two post bridge design. These designs makes it easy to build on. Just drop your coils in and cut any excess coil leads from under the bridge. When with that, you're ready to go. The poles will fit any type of coil bills, fuse claptons, claptons, aliens, staggered coils, you name it, as long as it does not touch the inner airflow chamber. And with that, it makes it easy to adjust your coils while installing it. But do make sure that both coils are of the same height, or else one will heat up faster than the other. With that out of the way, let's get to installing the coils. As usual, I will not be using the coils that is provided, instead I will be using a dual titanium fuse clapton. If you want to learn more about setting up titanium coils, do check out our video right here. While installing, I find that for dual coil builds, a 3mm inner diameter is the max you can build, but with a single coil setup, you can go up to 4mm. When placing the coils, make sure that the coils are placed right where the airflow cutouts are without touching the inner chamber. Since the inner chamber comes off, it is easy to check the placement of both coils before screwing it in. After that, we can get to wicking it. You want to cut the cotton about this length and tuck it into the juice well just like this. And with too much cotton, the capillary action will be restricted too little and the juice will flood the chamber causing gurgling. I'd recommend to just comb out the ends of the cotton right here to allow for proper juice flow. 
My final thoughts on the Zeus X RTA, it is one of the easiest RTA to set up even for temp control. Coils are held in strong, ensuring proper contact and stable resistance. It's easy to clean and you don't have to deal with any leaking. Flavor and vapor production is amazing. To get the best comfort from vaping the RTA, I recommend using the Ultra Drip Tip that is provided as it is taller than the pre-installed one, which makes it easier to remove the top cap without accidentally removing the airflow ring. Now we can get to vaping it. Now as I mentioned earlier, the coils that I have installed is the dual titanium fuse clapton at 0.16 ohms firing at 430 Fahrenheit at 120 watts. Now I recommend using the Alton drip tip on top, it's a more comfortable vape as I mentioned earlier and I recommend having the airflow at a quarter way open on the vape slot, it's about, about this size and the juice that I'm vaping on is Eden's Garden. It's a strawberry custard and it's a 50-50 blend, one of the best creamy that I've tried and I do highly recommend it, do go to your local vape shops and get one. Now, if you guys like the video, do give it a like, leave a comment down below regarding the Zeus X RDA, consider subscribing and we'll see you next time.